on deer. Today I'm going to show you how to breathe properly. I know it sounds crazy but you'd be amazed how many people I've worked with for the past four and a half years I've observed people and they just can't simply breathe properly. They tend to breathe from the chest. So today I'm going to show you how to breathe properly. Let me tell you a little bit about how it kind of how people develop incorrect breathing patterns. It can come from posture. So if you're slumped in a chair and you drop your head forward, you spend most of your occupational life with your head slumped forward, um, your chest comes forward with that and it can compress your organs. Now, that can lead to what we call mouth breathing and can kind of shut off the nasal pathways. Essentially, you start breathing through your mouth. So that's one way, but that's a big topic that we could get into. Another way is a craniofacial issue that can also um, induce mouth breathing. And then there's nutritional um, and lifestyle elements taking into account. Other things to consider is some, like your diet and your hydration and things like that. But today I'm just going to simply show you how to breathe properly. So if I stand side on, you'll get a good idea of how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to take a diaphragmatic breath and the first two thirds of inhalation want to come from the belly button and the last third wants to come from the chest. Now what people tend to do today is they'll breathe in like this, they'll breathe in through the chest. That's the wrong breathing pattern. So what you want to do is you want to breathe in through the nose from the belly button. So we're going to, I'm going to show you from the side and then you can see how it all happens. The first two thirds from here and the last third from here so stand with good posture you always want to stand with good posture because whatever you're doing you want to develop and create a, um, a good motor engram so if you don't know what good posture is you're going to bring your shoulders back head up and you want a slight bend in your knees if you're not still not sure you can do this exercise lying down or sat down on a swiss ball with your spine nice and high alternatively you can go on to you know you can put your head against the wall shoulders against the wall back against the wall, heels against the wall. That will help you find a much better posture without loading the spine too much. Um, so, as I said, you want to breathe in through the belly button, through the nose and out through the mouth or the nose. Notice that this bit moves first. In through the nose, fill the belly with air, stand with good posture. belly button, followed by the chest, out through the nose or the mouth. Now what you can do if you're not sure how to do that, you can simply put your, some people really have a problem doing it, so you can put your thing, interlock your fingers and place it on the belly button and then you've got a feedback loop there and then you know that you need to move your hands first. So breathe in and breathe out. You can do this sat down lying down, in through the nose, and out through the mouth or nose. And you want to do that 10 times, as many times as you can. You can do that while you're sat in traffic in your car, sit with good posture, you can do it while you're waiting for the bus, you can do it while you're just sat waiting for something at home, or stood up waiting for something, you can do it lying down in bed. So give that a go for 10 times a day and keep practicing and practicing. We want to reopen those nasal pathways and get you breathing properly and provide you with lots of energy. Have a great day.